Hi guys, how's it going? This is Jackie Van Ham, your girl in the know for all things motorcycle with your Chopper Town Daily today. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new format for us over here at Chopper Town. This is a two for today because I'm streaming live here on Chopper Town Facebook and over on YouTube today. So welcome for the first time ever to our YouTube viewers out there. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for clicking, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on all all of our posts. We appreciate you guys over in YouTube land. And of course, all of our fans over here on Facebook. Thank you for sticking with us and tuning in. We appreciate you guys. If you are not a regular follower of the program during the week, I like to open up the camera a couple of times, give you a little bit of the news and event coverage going on out here in the world of motorcycling. So during the week, I'll do a little bit of race recap, which is what I've got going on today. And then on Wednesdays, I like to do my motorcycling event round of letting you know about all the awesome stuff going on out here in motorcycle land. So do take a moment, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button, let us know what you guys think. Feel free to stick it in the comments, let me know where you're watching from, we appreciate you guys. But let's get going because this weekend there was some exciting racing going on over in Japan, one of the final rounds for MotoGP. And there was also some really rad racing out in California. This weekend was Straight Rhythm presented by Red Bull. And this year it was a two stroke smoke only affair, which is super cool. It looked like a hell of a good time. So I've got some great coverage from that as well. So thanks for tuning in. Hola, como esta, konnichiwa, and guten tag to all of our overseas fans. Thanks as always. And let's get going. So this weekend, like I had mentioned, was one of the final rounds for MotoGP. Of course, Mr. Mark Marquez has had it pretty handily over there for the past several rounds, and it sure looked like he was going to be a shoe in The only contender was going to be Mr. Andrea Davizioso on that Ducati, and unfortunately, he crashed out. So Mark Marquez was able to single-handedly go on ahead and wrap up the 2018 championship, which will be his seventh championship in his career so far. So congratulations to Mr. Mark Marquez. Jorge Lorenzo was out. He ended up, um, he broke his wrist at the last round. And while he jumped into practice, he was not able to continue, was not able to race in Japan. So he was completely out of the picture. There was still some very exciting racing going on. And actually, the big shocker for the Japan race is there was no Japanese manufacturers at the very front of the grid this time. It was a very Ducati-heavy affair, minus Mr. Mark Marquez, of course. Um, so that was good news for the folks at Ducati. They've been seems like they've been sorting out that beautiful motorcycle. So, um, as I said, it looked like there was hardly any other Japanese manufacturers up front. Um, let's see. And the uh, results are going to be first place, Mr. Mark Marquez. Second place, place Cal Crutchlow. Three, Alec Rin. Four, Valentino Rossi. So Mr. Valentino Rossi has managed to, oh, I misspoke. Not that it was not Japanese manufacturers. It was that there was not Ducati up front. Sorry about that. I misspoke. I lied. I lied. Don't stick it in the comments. Don't send me any hate mail. <laughs> I read this too fast. So it's going to be Mark Marquez, Cal Crutchlow, Alec Rin, four, Valentino Rossi. So that's really good news for Mr. Valentino. As I mentioned, last week on the program last time we talked about MotoGP always a bridesmaid never a bride Mr. Valentino Rossi but at least he's been awfully consistent which is really really good news so he's been he's been hanging out up at fourth and fifth for most of this season it seems like so again, your top 10, your standings are going to be Mr. Mark Marquez has already won the championship for 2018. So congratulations to him. Also over at Motorcycle.com, they just released a press release that uh, Mr. Tom Sykes and BMW are making a return to World Superbike. So congratulations to Mr. Tom Sykes and congratulations to our friends over at BMW for rejoining World Superbike Series for 2019. This weekend also, like I had mentioned, was an awesome two-stroke event out in California. This sounded like a heck of a good time. If I would have gotten my act together, I would have absolutely gone out to this. Don't you even think twice. I would have jumped on a plane and been out there in a second. And that was Straight Rhythm presented by Red Bull. So this was a re this is a really neat race event. It's Supercross but without the turns. So that's why it's called straight rhythm. It's all of the bumps, all of the humps, all of the jumps, all in one straight shot, and they race head to head. So a really neat sounding race, and this year was all two stroke bikes. So there was in racerxonline.com, they go ahead, hey Moira, welcome to the show. Welcome girl. 
Um, they go ahead on racerxonline.com and there's tons of awesome videos, really, really great race footage, really, really great stuff going on over there. And then they kind of give you a quick, our top five things that we noticed um, at the race event. And I'll go ahead and check that out, racerxonline.com. But number five that I wanted to read to you was retired riders can still ride. Ryan Dungey hasn't raced anything since announcing his professional retirement last May. Ryan Villapoto has been racing a little of everything since declaring himself the best retired rider ever, but he did get beat straight up by Stank Dog last year. Both Ryans came out firing this time. Dungey's 250SX was ripping and he was fastest in qualifying after Villapoto barely, barely, barely eliminated Josh Grant. A classic matchup of the Ryans loomed and they battled hard with Dungey just getting around the edge. Dungey and Ryan Villapoto were great, but the two current factory riders in the field, Troy Lee Designs, Shane McElrath, and Jordan Smith, were up to the challenge. McElrath and Dungey were an even match in the finals, but McElrath edged ahead to secure the win and score one for the current racer set. Villapoto edged Smith in the trophy runoff to a net third overall. The Ryans came and saw, they put on a show and generated some cheers. McElrath, who won the 250 class at this event the last two years, was a small notch better though. Score one for the current racers and also consider this the only race win in modern times for a two-stroke factory rider. Isn't that the coolest part of all? So I thought that was really neat. That looked like I said, like I said, a hell of a good time. They've got great video footage going on over at Racer X Online. So make sure you click on over there and check it out. Chopper Town rules, she's cute. <laughs> hey, Timothy, thanks, I appreciate that. Uh, so also going on this past, um, the past couple of weeks, you know, I've, I've been traveling a little bit, so I've been able to jump in with my race coverage as often as I like to, but in the past couple of weeks, our friends over at Supercross have also have announced their 2019 lineup. You can click on over also to racerxonline.com. They always have all of the motocross and Supercross results and news going on over there. I do love to head over there and check everything out. Anyway, they've released the 2019 Supercross schedule for next season. Um, it does look like... Next, new to the schedule this year are events at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. That's good news. And Bronco Stadium at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. So welcome to the schedule, Denver and Nashville. That's pretty exciting news. Denver hasn't had a Supercross race in over 20 years, and this will be a debut for Nashville. So that sounds awesome. The full schedule, like I said, is over at racerxonline.com. You can go check it out over there. Their first race of the season is January 5th at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, and they wrap their season May 4th in Las Vegas. Also announcing their 2019 provisional schedule, our friends over at American Flat Track Racing. If I've got any dirt track, flat track fans in the house, I have the good fortune of jumping in and helping do a little bit of announcing and pit reporting and podium interview with our friends over at American Flat Track. I've had an awesome time over there. I'm a huge fan. I try to bring you all sorts of good coverage when I'm on site over there. And even when I'm not, I love to comment on the races and we chat about them over here on Chopper Town. So thanks for tuning in again. If you're just now joining us, Today's a double header today because I'm filming. If you keep seeing me look, looking this way, these are our friends over at YouTube that are tuning in for the very first time. And then these are our friends over at Facebook. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate both of you guys for tuning in. Do feel free to hit that subscribe button, throw any comments in there. We appreciate you. I always go back through and read them. I try to answer any of your questions. So thank you so much. So like I was saying, American Flat Track went ahead and released their schedule as well. And they've got a couple, they've got a couple twists and turns out there. Paris Half Mile in California is back on the schedule. They've added a race in Arizona. It's going to be a TT race called the Wild Horse TT in Chandler. And then they're also adding the Laconia Short Track in New Hampshire. So that's good news for my Northeast friends. They haven't had a race up there in a hot minute. They find they finish up the season this past year in New Jersey, but that's about as close as they get in a couple of like upstate New York ones. But there's not a true like New England um, race going on um, until next season. And that's going to be up in New Hampshire. So their full schedule can be found over at AmericanFlatTrack.com. I'm looking at it at UltimateMotorcycling.com as well. The 2019 race schedule starts at Daytona International Speedway, March 14th, and that's a TT style race, and it wraps again. The date's gonna be decided and announced, it hasn't been yet, but it has been decided the venue, and that's gonna be at the Meadowlands Mile again, which is where the 2018 season also wrapped up, and it was absolutely spectacular. Stones thrown from Manhattan, beautiful grounds, awesome racing. It was an absolute barn burner. Go look for it on the internet. It was a really, really hell of a good time. So last 
last but certainly not least, this coming week, speaking of racing, I will be at the last race for the Super Hooligan Race Series presented by Indian Motorcycle and Roland Sands Design. So I'll be out there doing a little bit of pro talking out there. So if you are a fan of flat track, dirt track, hooligan style racing, or more importantly, a fan of the greatest 90s punk rock bands ever, this is the event for you because it is going to be called the Moto Beach Classic and Surf City Blitz. And it is the offspring, Pennywise, Suicidal Tendencies, Fear, TSOL, Social Distortion, Rancid, B Bad Religion, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. <sighs> So it's not only an awesome day of racing and vendors, um, Ducati's going to have their demo truck there. Indian Motorcycle will be there showing off bikes as well. Husqvarna puts up a really, really awesome art and photography exhibit. There's a custom bike show. There's all, Like I said, there's all sorts of awesome vendors. And that's called The Lot, and that's open to the public, and it's totally free. You can come to that anytime you want. However, the tickets for the concerts are getting ready to be sold out if they're not sold out already. So make sure you head to surfcityblitz.com to look for more information on that. That's in Huntington Beach on Saturday and Sunday. And this landlocked mermaid is gonna be a beach babe for the weekend because I'll be out there holding dumps down some announcing duties for our friends at Super Hooligan Racing. So do come by, do come say hello, don't be shy. I always love to see you guys, don't be stranger. It's hugs and high fives for me to you. So do come and say hello to me, I'd appreciate it. But what do you guys think about that? A little bit of racing recap, a little bit of a race report for this past weekend. I will be back tomorrow giving you your motorcycling event roundup like I like to do on Wednesday afternoons, letting you know about all the awesome events and things going on in the world of motorcycling. Do feel free, if you've got something cool going on in your neck of the woods, sometimes I miss things. I try my best, but sometimes I can't grab everything. Sometimes they're not, they don't put it out on the internet as much as they should. <laughs> and make my life easy for me. So uh, do feel free to go ahead and throw that. If you've got a local event, throw ahead, go ahead, throw it in the comments. I do read through these and I'll go ahead and mention it tomorrow's program. But thanks for tuning in guys. We appreciate you. Welcome to our new YouTube viewers. I can't wait to see more of you out there. Thanks for tuning in. Click like, share, and more importantly, hit that subscribe button. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Thanks to our Facebook members for watching. Love you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. How do you stop this? Um, well, this is the first time I've done a YouTube, so I don't know how to stop the, um, how to stop this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs>